Um, but if you wanted to actually create a controller, to do the same thing. Um, I'll do that with this joint now. What I can actually do is um, have a second node. We can have a group node that does this for us. That kind of hides those translate values. Okay, so I'm going to create uh, another circle. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to group it to itself. Okay, so I'm just going to hit Command G and now you can see we have group one. And normally you want to be going along and, uh, and naming all this stuff, but uh, just for speeding up this tutorial, uh, we'll just kind of breeze through with over renaming. Okay, so now you can see I have NURB circle under group one. Now remember this is different than the shapes, okay, because we still have the shape node under this NURB circle. But what groups allow us to do is preserve whatever is underneath it, right? Basically it's um, a good analogy of, of this is Imagine the nerve circle as somebody riding a bus, okay, and the bus is the group. So wherever the group goes, right, wherever the bus goes being the group, okay, you can see I'm moving the group, the nerve circle actually goes with it, and the nerve circle stays relative, okay, you can see its values do not change, okay, because we're affecting the parent, okay. So what I'm actually going to do here is, is similar to how we first did this, I'm going to select uh, the group, and then I'm going to shift select this joint and I'm going to hit parent. Okay, now this automatically takes us back to the group node. If you accidentally deselect the group node, what you can do is you can go into the outliner and just find uh, under this joint here. You can also hit frame. If you hit F on your keyboard, it'll, it'll reveal whatever we're looking for. Okay, so if you highlight the curve and you press up on your keyboard, that will take you to the group node. Okay, and then we can hit F in here, and that will show it. Okay, so now you can see it's parented to this joint. So if I actually move this joint around or rotate it, you can see that it moves with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the group node. Again, you can either do that, nail liner, or select it here, press up to move up the hierarchy. And I'm just going to zero this out. There we go. So it's now exactly centered. Now I'm going to hit Shift P to unparent. Okay. You can also go Edit uh, unparent down here. Shift P. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the the uh, group node here and I'm just going to rotate it 90 like that. Okay. And the important thing now is that we do not freeze the group node. Okay. So we're only manipulating the group node right now. You shouldn't have any values on the NURB circle, just the group node. Okay, and so now what we're going to do is we're actually going to uh, parent constrain the joint, okay, to the NURB circle, not the group. Okay, because we still want to be able to select this, this uh, circle to control it. So I'm going to highlight uh, the joint. Okay, or actually highlight the curve, shift select the joint, constrain, parent. Okay, so now you can see that if I rotate this, it affects the joint, its values are zero, but it's on that axis. Okay, so everything from that group node is now cycling down to the child, but we don't have those values, but it takes on that orientation. Okay, now the other thing you have to be careful when you do this sort of control system is if I now pull this away, okay, you can see that that joint is locked to this controller. So what we have to do is make sure we attach now this control to uh, the rest of the joints so that it moves with it, okay. So what I'm going to do is you got to make sure that you attach it to the next joint up, okay. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to take this joint, joint 2, Okay, not the controller. If you use a controller system, okay, we're just going to take the um, the joint itself. Okay, and I'm going to take command click on group one. And I'm going to go constrain parent. Okay, so now that will go wherever 
the hand goes and if I were to rotate this joint you can see that the control moves with it and so does this one okay so now we can still have that controller that has these nice clean values everything's zeroed out okay and uh, it still has that rotational axis so again we have those three different methods right we have the actual joint display handle okay again that's in your attribute editor display handle turn that on and off uh, we can parent the shape of a curve to a joint okay so now that that shape node is actually part of that joint okay or we can create a separate controller that we can now use that is not part of that joint 